Hey guys, welcome back. This is gonna be my mascara routine. I mentioned the mascaras that I use and I have a review that I'll link up here if you're interested. And this is a mascara and fibers that you can get through Amazon. Every time I get it, they are usually $10. I know you can find different brands at the drugstore right now, but I haven't tried those. I know this ones I love and they work for me and I have a lot of backups of them. And um, this is the kind of mascara that you apply one layer then you let it and then right away you apply the fibers and then seal it once again with the mascara I'm gonna explain how I do it the methods that I use and everything in this video and I also I'm gonna share with you uh, an eyelash curler heater that I've been using and that it keeps my curl all day long so whenever I don't feel like putting on false lashes this is the look that I go for and I really enjoy it now, now I love false eyelashes and I feel like it gives me that extra I don't know like it makes my eyes go up instead of going down how they usually are it's not my skin it's just the the shape of my eye goes always down and it gets very little in the outer part so I feel like I love false lashes because it gives me that lift but whenever I don't want to apply false lashes or if I just want a little bit of mascara this is a waterproof mascara and it doesn't smudge or move throughout the day so this is what I do so if you're interested interested in knowing my mascara routine and also a few tips and tricks on how to use fibers in your lashes then just keep watching. So what I'm gonna do is this is plugged so I'm gonna put my eyelash curler in here and I have to do it like this way and then listen it's gonna click in there and I don't know if you'll be able to see but this light is blinking so that means that it's heating up the eyelash curler and I'm just gonna wait until the light it's solid and then I'm gonna curl my lashes I like this little thing and I will link leave links for everything that I use in this video down below if you're interested but what I like about this is I curl my lashes once and uh, that's it I don't have to redo them with uh, throughout the day no matter what mascara I use my lashes tend to go down and so the mascara could be really great in the morning and put them really you know curly and voluminous and long but you know as the time passed they start to slowly come down and you know even if they're longer or if they have a lot of volume if they're pointing down you're not gonna be able to see that so this is still blinking. Once it stops, what I'm gonna do is just remove it and test just to make sure that it's not too hot. After this gets solid light, can't see it because of the lights around me, um, it, it stays on for a few seconds, I would say less than a minute. And if you don't remove it, it will turn off because otherwise, you know, once you take it out, it will be too hot and you can burn yourself. So that's why it has that safety thing and so you just have to keep that in mind that you have to keep it close to you so you know when the light is solid and it's ready to curl your lashes now it does have the battery operated side on the other but I really just plug it to the cable right here and it's good now I'm gonna now that it's solid I'm gonna remove it I'm gonna test it in the back of my hand just to make sure that it's not too hot and it's not I mean I can leave it there and it's not too hot and and going to curl my lashes this heats the part where it touches the lashes so I mean you're gonna feel like a warm sensation but nothing that it's burning or anything I'm gonna get it once more and once more I'll pump it and that's it. As you can see, I didn't apply any eyeliner or anything because I wanted you to see, you know, where the curl starts and where it ends. Take this pulley and I'm gonna go through my lashes. I don't have any mascara on, but sometimes the eyeliner that I have in my waterline uh, can stick them together with the heat or not even the heat, but the pressure of the eyelash curler. So what I'm gonna do is Just brush them and have them in the position that I want them to be when I apply the mascara and how I want them to be all day long. 
Now we're gonna start with the mascara. I'm using uh, mascara and um, fibers. Uh, I will leave the link in the description box down below to this particular one that I love and recommend. If you missed the video where I share with you um, kind of my demo and also a review on this specific one, I'll link it up here. It's really, I'm, I don't know, I, I've seen the difference. As you can see, I have it on this right eye. I don't have it on this other one. It does make a difference on the length that it gives me and also the volume. I can't get these results with any other mascara, so I would absolutely recommend it. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the mirror like this and I'm looking down to apply the mascara from root to tip. This is something I do because number one, I'm gonna work with fibers and if I do this, the fibers would fall here instead of in my face and also because I can see better you know from the roots to the tips if I put it like this I only I feel like I focus more on the tips of the lashes and when I do it like this I focus from the root and go up and I feel like that works better now this is gonna be like a glue for the fibers so make sure that as soon as you're done applying just this one coat of mascara that you go straight to the fibers but I want to make sure that I also get every single lash that it's in my inner corner I feel like those are the lashes that since they're too small I don't get most of the time but I'm gonna apply fibers to them to make them longer and I can't you know make them stick to my lashes unless I apply this mascara underneath so that's what I'm gonna do I also have a sh my eye shape it's pretty I don't know it's different and I have to go like this for the outer part of my lashes because it's going down it's like my eye shape goes down uh, it's not like it goes straight like this it goes down and I can't get all the lashes so I usually make a mess that I'm gonna clean after I'm done with the mascara on this eye so now that I have that one layer I'm gonna get the fibers remove the excess which always does have excess and I'm gonna go from the roots to the tips if you don't want to do more volume then you don't have to do it at the roots but for me it's really important because uh, I don't have many many lashes I mean I'm using some serums that are working but I don't have you know as many as I would love to so when I do it from the roots to the tips I can get more volume and length at the same time. Remember if you're gonna apply this you have to make sure that you apply it very evenly. Now I'm gonna go back to the mascara and it's I don't know why but it always has excess in the tip of the mascara not in the bristle so I'm gonna go like this clean it off and then start to apply it on my lashes from root to tips and make sure you start at the root because otherwise your lashes become kind of heavy because of the fibers and you don't want them and try to cover everything as much as you can you can do a couple of layers of this mascara if you feel like you want more you want something longer or you want more those spider legs um, lashes for the day which is something that a lot of people is doing right now I, I i don't i don't like it on me but i know there's a lot of people who does it and they it looks good on them so if you want to go once again put more fibers and then once again put the mascara and do it in layers like that you can get you know crazy big lashes but it's gonna start to clump if you apply two or three layers it's gonna start to clump up but uh, I'm also going in the backs just to make sure that I don't leave any fibers I don't go through the roots I just do it in the tips and I know like 
right now it doesn't look like anything especially since I don't have an eyeliner oh, look at that crazy but I'm gonna continue and once it dries I'm gonna use a something to flake it off remember to also try to separate them as much as you want and also in the inner part I go inwards so my lashes are looking to the inner part and I can see them because otherwise they're gonna go all uh, looking out or to the outer part of my eye and then in the middle I go up See, I got a little something there. It wasn't a clump, but they were sticking together. And then, like this. Now, if you put a little bit of mascara on your lid, you just have to get a cotton swab and get rid of it. They can see one from my bottom lash mascara right there. I see a couple right here. You just have to go like this so you can see it. And there you go. Um.